Okay, so here we have another Commodore fix. I keep putting these videos, all these Commodore videos, because everyone's just a little bit different, whether it's um, what the issue was, or what the issue is, or what the fix was. So hopefully um, you'll pick up something along the way if your Commodore has a problem and give you some ideas of what to troubleshoot. So, um, so that's why I keep making these. Uh, heaven knows I must have at least three or four dozen Commodores now because my problem is I don't sell them. <laughs> um, they all have stories. This one in particular, I got from a really, really nice gentleman um, named Jack. And uh, he already forewarned me that the, the Commodore wasn't working. And, you know, that's what we're all about. If it was working, I probably wouldn't have bought <laughs> the system. So... Um, anyways, so let's get down to business here. Um, so first and foremost, I just plugged it in, haven't turned it on or anything. Um, all I did was plug it in, get the camera ready and, you know, let's, uh, let's see what we have. So it's plugged in. Let's, uh, see if we get a flash of light. Cause again, I was told that it wasn't working. So, uh, wasn't one of these eBay untested type of things. Um, so um, Jack was very upfront with it. And I was happy to hear that it wasn't working because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to make a video. So turning it on right now. And I don't even get a flicker on the screen. I hear the sound and the light is on on the computer. So, you know, guesses could be SID, could be VIC-2, could be PLA, could be a myriad of things. I'm going to put a dead test cartridge in there right now, but I don't think we're going to get anything because, like I said, the screen doesn't even light up. Okay, I just turned it on with a dead test cartridge, and we'll wait a few seconds, but I just have a feeling that that's not going to be very promising. Yeah, and it's not. So let's open it up and let's test a few chips um, and see what we have. So there we go. Let's get the camera situated here. And this is uh, an older system. It has a five pin video on it. So we had to put our adapter on it. So. Let's uh, let's get cracking here. Let's see what we got. The serial number on this is two five one o three zero, so uh, relatively older. You can always tell by the five pin video jack. So. Well, that opened up really nice. Usually I hear a crack and you uh, wonder if one of the tabs broke, but none of the tabs broke. So that's awesome. Doesn't look like anybody's been in here. The shield is on and I don't see any uh, flux residue or desoldering that's taken place. So that's good. So let's start, um, let's get this cover off and then let's start testing some chips here. Okay. Start with the SID. Okay, got the tester ready to go here. 
Let's pull this chip out. Okay, let's keep our fingers crossed. Failed. So we can test it without a SID chip. Let's see if we get the video. Because if we get the video, then we know that the problem was the SID chip, right? So these days, I'd rather it be the SID chip than the VIC. The VIC chips, man, they've gone up in price. Um, the SID chips have come down because there's a lot of competition out there with different SID chips, but you know, my preference is still the arm SID big time. So, all right, I'm going to look at the screen here real quick instead of pointing the camera in case it just doesn't turn on. And if it does, then I'll turn the camera to it. And I don't get any picture still, but we know the SID was bad. So let's try the Vic chip next here and see what happens. Okay, this, ch this uh, Vic chip is next on the agenda here. Let's uh, clean it up just a teeny tiny bit. Ha, 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 Didn't even have to put it in. Look at here. You see that pin right here? How do you like that? That might be all it is, well, aside from it damaging the, the SID chip. So let's go ahead and straighten this pin out here. Okay, so I've been, I was trying to be real careful not breaking this off. If I broke this off, um, I would have to uh, solder a little piece, a little leg back on. I could just use this and swap it out with the one that's already in my ZIF socket. But let's go ahead and test this while I think about that. Because if it's bad, then it's a moot point, right? Okay. Okay. So it's a good chip. Well, do I take the risk and jam it in there and hope it doesn't bend? Or do I swap it out? I don't know, it's pretty strong. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take the risk and that way we can just leave it in here. Let's see if that solves the issue. I think that's in there. All right, I'm going to turn this on. And nope, I still get nothing on the screen. I don't even get a flash. Okay. But let's, um, I'm pretty sure that that 
chin is seated. Taking a peek at it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't trust it, so I'm going to swap it out just in case. Yeah, it doesn't look any more damaged, but let's see what happens. 65, 67 in there, and I still get no picture, so it's not the Vic. So let's keep going at it. I'm just um, concerned that there's just not even a flicker um, on the screen. Okay, so before I go and start pulling and testing these other chips, I'm just not convinced that the lack of video is going to, these chips are going to have any effect. The main ones were the Vic, the, um, the SID, maybe the PLA, but the fact is I'm not even getting a blip. Um, one thing we should have done to begin with, though you're not getting a blip, is the voltage works. I see the LED light turning on. I can hear the sound clicking. Um, so that's that seems fine. Fuse is kind of loose here, but I don't think that has anything to do with it. I'm not getting any connectivity from the fuse ends here, but I was getting it when I was testing it there. So let me replace the fuse. That's it's just really odd. Nothing. Hmm. Okay. Let me get a fuse here real quick. I'll be right back. All right. So I have a fuse here. Let me just make sure. Okay. Turn this thing on. Oh, okay. I get a screen, <laughs> um, but I get some weird, some other weird residue here. Okay, so, so far, Sid was bad. And then uh, Fuse was bad. Now when I turn it on, get some weirdness so it looks like this thing had a real good voltage spike going to it because it blew the fuse that's a 3 amp fuse it blew the SID chip fortunately the VIC is fine I'm going to test this this Vic chip again, though, just in case we didn't blow anything out and we just turned it on. Okay, so let's put this in the socket here, what I did. And uh, that way we protect the pins on this Vic. My concern, though, is blowing this Vic up because it looks like this guy got fried. You can see... Kind of like char marks on that thing. Let's see what happens. What the hell? You only live once. Seize the day. Like I always say. Alright. I'm turning this puppy on. Let's look at it together, shall we?
Okay. Here we go. All right. Ha! Huh. How do you like that? How do you like that? So it was the fuse. Uh, boy, that's a really nice picture. <laughs> um, the reason the number two is there is because the keyboard has been sitting up against the wall there. Let's turn this thing on again. Yeah, how do you like that? It was the fuse. Well, the SID blew, something blew the fuse, obviously. That blew the, the, the SID. And the thing is that that VIC chip had a really, well, it had a bad pin. It wasn't plugged in. Um, one of the pins was bent. So, well, there you have it. Um, yeah. Hope, uh, hope you learned something out of this. Um, check the fuse, you know, um, look, here's the bottom line. There was no video. There wasn't. So the first things first, you know, um, I always take the SID chips out first. I always test the SID chips because if they're good, I keep them out because you never know what'll happen in your testing. The other is that the video didn't even have a glitch when I turned, when I turned the computer on, it should have a glitch. It didn't. So there's that, that should have been a clue right there. Um, that, and it was getting volts, it was, the, the light was on, I was hearing the sound, a little sound on the glitching sound, you know, from the monitor. So knew that was working. We tested the, we saw that the VIC had the issue and that might have been what caused the fuse to blow um, because of the pin, unless they tried to replace the VIC and, and then that's how they messed up the pin. So anyways, long story short, no video, um, no glitch on the screen. Check the VIC, of course, check the fuse, you know. Um, that always helps. So there you have it. I think we can wrap this guy up on and keep this relatively short instead of putting it all back together again. So it works. And there you have it. So like I always say, you only live once, enjoy life, live for the day, look at all the fun things you can do, right? <laughs> Peace out.